welcome to this presentation. This is the 18th in the series of short videos, each featuring five multiple choice questions covering diverse unrelated aspects of psychiatry. Each MCQ has four options of which one is correct. Brief information related to the questions will be provided. These are the topics for this video. Question one, which of the following studies is not a clinical trial in psychosis? Please go through the four options and make your choice. If you want, you can pause while you decide your answer. The correct answer is A. ABCD study is not a clinical trial in psychosis. The ABCD study stands for the Adolescent Brain Cognitive Development Study. It is the largest long-term observational study on brain development in children funded by the National Institute of Health in the US. The other three studies are all clinical trials in psychosis. Question two, which of the following is used for diagnosing tardive dyskinesia? Please go through the options and make your choice. The correct answer is D. Schooler Kane criteria. The Schooler Kane criteria are used for diagnosing tardive dyskinesia. The other three options are also used for diagnosing disorders in other branches of medicine. The Cushing stride is used in raised intracranial pressure. The revised Jones criteria are used in rheumatic fever, while the Reynolds pentet is used for diagnosing ascending cholangitis. The Schooler Kane criteria are used for diagnosing tardive dyskinesia, used mainly in clinical research studies. I have listed the Schooler Kane criteria. Those who are interested can pause and note down the details. Question three, which of the following is not one of the four main problem areas that are addressed in interpersonal psychotherapy or IPT? Please go through the options and make your selection. The answer is D, unrelenting crisis. This is not one of the four main problem areas addressed in interpersonal psychotherapy. This is one of the dialectical dilemmas that are addressed in dialectical behavior therapy. The other three are problem areas dealt with in IPT. The fourth problem area covered in IPT is interpersonal deficits. In this slide, I have listed the four main problem areas in IPT 
and the three dialectical dilemmas in DBT. Those who are interested can pause and note down the details. Question four, which of the following is correct regarding the hormone leptin? Please go through the four statements and choose your answer. The correct answer is A. Anorexia nervosa patients have lower serum levels of leptin when compared to healthy controls. B is incorrect because cocaine intake decreases the serum levels of leptin. C is incorrect because leptin is also called the satiety hormone. There is another hormone called ghrelin which is known as the hunger hormone. D is incorrect because it is the other way around. Leptin is secreted by adipose tissue and it acts on leptin receptors in the hypothalamus. Leptin receptors are also located in other brain areas such as the hippocampus, prefrontal cortex and nucleus accumbens. The final question, which of the following is correct regarding Brexanolone, an antidepressant approved by the FDA in 2019? Please go through the options and choose your answer. The correct answer is B. It is administered as a continuous intravenous infusion over 60 hours. A is incorrect because Brexanolone is not a TAR1 agonist. It is a GABA A receptor allosteric modulator. There is another drug called Ulotaront, an experimental antipsychotic, which is a TAR1 agonist. TAR1 stands for trace amine associated receptor type 1. C is incorrect because Brexanolone is administered as an IV infusion. Esketamine, another drug approved by the FDA in 2019, is available as a nasal spray for treatment resistant depression. D is incorrect because Brexanolone is indicated for the treatment of postpartum depression. That brings us to the end of this presentation. Hope you found the information useful. Thank you for watching.